Hello everyone, it is Lauren coming at you today with, as always, a different kind of video. Today's video is going to be my pet peeves. And everyone in life has some things that like really just push their buttons. And yeah, this was a video that I wanted to make and hadn't gotten the chance to, so I'm going to make it for you guys today. So, the first thing that is one of my biggest pet peeves, and it really irritates me, is that I am not a fan of people when they have their music blaring out their car. Like, you can hear it through the, the speakers, you can hear the bass of the song, and they just blast it so loud that it just really irritates me. I don't really like it. It's just something that, you know, is really annoying. The next thing, and it's probably a common one with everyone, I am not a fan of people who talk on the phone while they are driving. Or if they are in a store. Because this has happened quite a lot in my life. And it's one of those things that, you know, if you're not supposed to be doing it anyway, why do you do it in the first place? So, I don't like that. The next thing, this drives me crazy with mainly top 40 hits like you know the mainstream hits and whatever I am not a fan of overplayed songs it's just not gonna hurt you to play a new song radio station it's just not gonna hurt you any so that's just me and I'm one of those people that hates those dryers like those air dryers in public bathrooms those things drive me crazy they're really noisy and usually they don't dry these precious little hands of mine Anyways, and I just end up just letting it air dry without the air dryer use. And the next thing, I am not a fan of people who like to criticize others. I am not a fan of criticism because we don't need to sit there and judge each other because I'm trying, you know, in life, trying to live a more positive lifestyle. And when you just criticize a person, it's just really going to end up hurting you in the end and the person as well. It just doesn't really make any sense to me and you know you've got to have some you gotta really think about what you're trying to say to that person like you don't mean to criticize them but in the end it's just gonna hurt both of you the next thing I'm not a fan of edited music at all even though it is regulated by the lovely FCC it's just not my favorite even I prefer the original recorded version I just like when they I don't like when they mess with that and I also don't like when they make mess with like you know put new radio edits on the radio and stuff like that I also hate that too because I, I don't like that version it's just like you just mess up the freaking song it's just really irritating and this has happened in my life quite a lot I am not a fan of people who'd rather focus on their phone rather than the person they are talking to. Oh my gosh, you don't know how many times in my life this has happened to me. And it's really, I have I have cousins on my dad's side that do it, and it's really irritating. I have a friend that does it, and it's irritating. It's just really annoying. Like, you know, talk to the person next to you. Quit being on your phone so much. You know, put your phone in airplane mode for like five minutes. Or 10 minutes and just talk to the freaking person. It's not that hard. As you can tell, this is going to be a very interesting video today. <laughs> but the next thing is I hate when I'm forced to do something I'm not personally comfortable with. This has happened a lot in me life. And, you know, it's something I don't it's like, you know, say, oh, you want to try this new food? No, I don't want to try because, you know, I have tried it before and I don't like it. <laughs> And it's just, why? Why would you sit there and make me do something I'm not comfortable with anyway? Like, you know, it's just really dumb. And this is another thing that really irritates me. And I have many male specimens in my family that do it. And it's a really annoying habit. I hate when they leave the freaking toilet seat up. It is disgusting. Oh my gosh. It, it's just gross. It's just gross. Put it down when you're done. It's called... Manners and common sense, people. I'm sorry. Like I said, this is going to be an interesting video because I'm very opinionated sometimes. The next thing we are going to 
say is I hate when I have to open the door for people and I do not get a thank you out of them. It is very rude and it's not polite. You were taught manners for a reason. If you were not taught manners, then you were not taught the way of life. That's just my opinion on that. Because I do this constantly at my center that I go to during the week. And I never get a thank you. I always have to, like, you know, politely say you are welcome until I get, like, a thank you out of them. But even though if the people don't say it, you know, they're just really rude and don't have any common sense. And it's just something that's really been irritating me lately. And I thought, gee, you guys would like to know that. And the next thing, my dad likes to do this. And I'm going to admit that I am not a fan of to be, I hate to be woken up in the morning. It drives me crazy. I prefer to be woken up by an alarm because I hate to be woken up because I've done, it's happened multiple times in my life. I've had it where my cousins jumped on my bed and woke me up, which was not the funnest thing, where, my, where I've had my bed cover taken off and I just put it back over me because, you know, I like to sleep. And it's just, no, you don't do that to me. I'd rather wake up to an alarm to a song I really like at that exact moment. So, for that all being said, that was all of me pet peeves. I hope you enjoyed watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I would love that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!